Hello everyone, my name is Wei, I'm from uh, the University of New South Wales, Australia, um, the great group. Uh, in this work, we'd like to investigate for different data layouts for workflow management in open source DBMS, which is the board for efficiently retrieving and the quick querying. Besides, a benchmark has also been developed to compile various workflow data management solutions concerning functionalities and performance. This is the outline of my presentation today. Uh, first, I will give a brief introduction of uh, yeah, what is Walso and uh, yeah, is the model and applications. And secondly, um, the, yeah, I will uh, present the, the design for data layouts for Walso data management strategies. And uh, the, the third part is the case study. Uh, we used uh, uh, a set of four buildings uh, of UNS of Kensington campus with 10CM resolution Walso as the case study data size. Last, uh, mm, we will discuss uh, and conclude our presentation. The first thing is, um, yeah, what is Voxel? Um, yeah, it is the Voxels or uh, Voxel Magic Web Pixels, uh, which are based in a regular grid in three-dimensional space and are perceived without graphs between them. In contrast to the similar concept of point clouds, Voxel can only inhabit discrete positions in space dedicated uh, by the grid. It is uh, regular and uh, all possible voxel positions are equally sp uh, spaced. Uh, voxels are the quickest way to quick model and uh, virtualize wall metric data, especially in nature and organic uh, form formations. Applications for voxels include the virtualization and analysis of medical and scientific data and uh, represent of uh, Turing in-game and simulations. Medical researchers are now using wall metric imaging to view MRI scans from different angles, efficiently to see the inside of the body from outside. Uh, Minecraft, uh, yeah, maybe you, you guys heard that, is a uh, sandbox video game. Uh, use voxel to store uh, terrain data. Geologists use, uh, often use voxel modeling uh, tech techniques to model geological features like terrain elevation. More broadly, uh, scientists can use voxel-based modeling to virtualize and measure the volume of any, anything from a flood to green space in urban uh, urban scenario. Voxels are also fundamental in our recent approach to semantic labeling. Uh, use voxel to represent the spa uh, spatial con uh, constraints on scene labels. Also, um, yeah, same as the yeah, same as the management of other uh, geographic data, voxels has have. Uh, yeah, for, for many years now, been managing in the traditional way of using the file system without, uh, yeah, with different data structures. These files can then be stored in a hierarchical um, the, yeah, folder structure for sparse works on models, uh, such as 3D CD model with different uh, level of details and exit by the third party software. Generally, works can be characterized as being mostly um, statistic data sites. That means once voxels are preceded, there are few opportunities to modify or update them. During the last decades, relational database systems um, yeah, are most valid used to the most um, metro database system, and they have been applied in, in various industries to enrich geospatial functions and geospatial processing capabilities. In 2010, uh, um, open geospatial Consultium, uh, yeah, that is OG, OGC is issued, OpenGS implementation specifications for geographic information. Uh, so, which define um, the basic geometric tabs like point, curve, surface, polygon, uh, examples of uh, our project-oriented terrain database system for geographic information include the post, uh, yeah, PostGS and Oracle 11, uh, Microsoft SQL Server, and this is a relational database can define geospatial object and adopt different index for fast uh, spatial queries. Mm, yeah, like the banner tree, um, yeah, sorry, banner tree in SQL Server, banner tree, R tree, and uh, uh, geo, uh, geo, uh, and yeah, and uh, geo lines the tree in PostGIS. And uh, yeah, to make use of works of data in different scenario and efficient story and retrieval system is in there in it. Um, in this paper, we investigate four different data layouts for storing and management the 3D um, box to data in post, uh, yeah, post uh, grid circle and post GS. And then the, um, the first thing is this uh, flat array table. The second is the point geometry table. The third one is the multi point uh, geometry table. And the last one is PC patch table with the help of point cloud. Um, yeah, the 
majority storage models can be adopted for the workflow management is based upon the organization of workflows in the flat rate table, uh, where each workflow is stored separately in a single row use a common data type, common data type uh, like integer or numeric or double. Each workflow attribute constitutes a separate field. Mm, the workflows are populated in, uh, into a table and the index using a B-tree index uh, in the X, Y, Z coordinates uh, respectively. In our case, um, the coordinates are saved into uh, our format integer and the scale and offset is stored as a table properly. To enhance the data, uh, database in performance, PostgreSQL um, yeah, provides our index tab, B-tree, hash, uh, GST, SP, GST, and uh, GIN. Each index tab uses different algorithms that is the best Students to different types of queries. In our case, the, as for the flat array table, uh, we create a B tree index on X, Y, Z coordinates. Since the equal, uh, equality and the range query on these columns are most often in daily use, and then populate with uh, data from uh, using SQL script or SQL cell. An addition index uh, was then added on the column, uh, the on the semantic columns. Mm, a, uh, yeah, a spatial point uh, rep uh, represents a single location on Earth. This one is uh, uh, represented by a single coordinate, included uh, yeah, uh, either two, three, four dimensions. Points are also um, are also used to uh, represent objects where the exact uh, when the exact details such as the shape, uh, shape and, sh and st size are not important at the target scale. For point table, we keep both the semantic uh, like uh, semantic uh, information like the building ID and the IFC information ID and uh, creates one geometry column with 3D points in PostGIS. Multi point is another um, geometry that consists of a collection of points. In this kind of layout, we consider regarding each building object and each IFC object as one multi point. That means work shows in one multi point geometry has the same IFC uh, ID and object ID. When using the multi-point geometry tab, we, we need to consider how to catch voxel data, that is, uh, those voxels uh, stored in a multi-point voxels, uh, sorry, multi-point uh, object. We propose a semantic-based voxel data partition, uh, partitioning strategy. Specifically, we want to store all voxels with the same semantic information in a multi-point object, including object uh, semantics and FC semantics. Moreover, similar to point, two index B3 and GST are built on the semantic uh, columns and the uh, and geometry column respectively. And point cloud is a, yeah, it is a post-degree circuit extension for storing point cloud or later data, uh, where PC patch can be regarded as a potential stru uh, stru uh, structure used for management of walks, so model in post-degree uh, circle. In our case, we collect a group of voxels with the same semantic information into a PC patch. Each patch should hopefully uh, contains works so that are near each other. That is the same partition strategy as multi-point. Following the point class schema, um, yeah, um, yeah, we prepare a schema document to describe the contents of any particular voxel. Each voxel contains a three dimension uh, named x, y, z, and each dimension can be of integer data type with scaling uh, 0.1, and this schema document is stored in the uh, in the point cloud format table, along with a PCID. Yeah, that the PCID is the point cloud identifier. Yeah, different from the multi-point representation, um, the GILC index is created based on the 2D bounds of the of the patch because it cannot be indexed directly on the PC patch tab. Uh, fortunately, as um, yeah, PC, uh, point cloud provided the the, the PC envelope geometry functions that can directly obtain the uh, boundary box of a post uh, post uh, post JS polygon 2D. Therefore, we use in uh, we can index 2D polygon. So this is the whole uh, relational uh, data uh, design for our four different data layouts in uh, yeah in our post grid circle database. And uh, yeah, um, we use uh, uh, HP laptop with uh, 16 gigabytes RAM and uh, 2.8 uh, GHZ uh, Intel uh, Core CPU, and uh, running the our algorithms on uh, Windows 10 Enterprise. 
Hmm. So, and uh, we adopt a Postgres Circle 11 to get rid of PG admin uh, version 4.3. Uh, yeah, mm, as the RD, uh, RDBMS for storing and running the spatial semantic queries. For general queries, we directly use the PG admin to run the query and evaluate the running time. Moreover, as uh, yeah, so as to obtain ac accurate time for each query, we issue the command explain analyze mm, the query. Mm. And uh, further, is, uh, we, we use the QGS software um, for uh, for virtualization entities. Mm. We select part of the Unit SW canceling campus, lower campus as case study. The raw works so uh, data sites include for uh, star six buildings mm, with total uh, 33, uh, sorry, 33 uh, million voxels uh, described in the table. And uh, we assign the ID and name for each building object, uh, such like the first building uh, named the uh, built environment with building ID uh, uh, equals one. Mm, it is uh, worth noting that each data set has the same scale and different offset. Besides that, since um, mm, the data, uh, data source for the voxel data came from the existing BIM model, each voxel itself carries some IFC attributes, like IFC BIM, IFC door, IFC window. So we naturally have the IFC semantic label. And the uh, first uh, semant uh, semantic analysis uh, regarding, um, yeah, regarding to building, uh, building object and IFC features, the first experience, uh, we are going to load our voxel associated with the building uh, name, the built environment in US Apple Campus. The query is, uh, yeah, mm, the result of this, uh, mm, uh, uh, yeah, the result is uh, uh, in this, uh, uh, in this table, uh, where the integer stand for the query happened on table with the integer data type, and so do the uh, numeric. Uh, query time of array and multipoint is stable for the um, for discussed two data types, integer and, um, and numeric. Point takes uh, slightly more time for numeric type and PC patch costs less on it. It is obvious like that multipoint and PC patch runs much faster than the first two data layouts due to the building object is uh, segmented into only a few partitions. And this, uh, the second experiment uh, is similar to the first uh, first one. Um, this time, yeah, we retrieved IFC uh, semantic information. There are 24 um, different IFC features in the, the whole data site, and we pick up the IFC door as the query condition. That is our goal to retrieve all, um, uh, retrieve all doors works in this, in this data site. So the figure is the, yeah, the, work as the result of the second experiment. And we also investigate the sp uh, spatial analysis on different uh, data layouts. The third experience, um, yeah, in our case, we um, consider use the 2D box to represent the each building object and calculate distance between the two buildings as distance between the two center of the yeah, 2D box, which is spatial data type you use to represent, uh, represent the two dimension enclosing box of a geometry or a collection of geometries. And based on the above analysis, we search all buildings that are yeah, that are within 100 meters of built environment. Um, our query that is virtualized in, in this figure, and uh, where um, yeah, uh, we are weak, yeah, uh, from this figure, we can compare the time of um, of con constructing bounding box of uh, above queries, um, and. Uh, yeah, on different data types and their multipoint and PC patch data uh, layouts. The, the fourth experience, uh, we analyze some um, uh, yeah, positioning, uh, positional relations among rooms in USW campus based on voxel mo uh, models, in which we are going to um, to search all rooms in, in the built environment, uh, which height is larger than the room of sign theory. To achieve this query, we first should uh, acquire the roof head of the sign theory. And in this, in our works models, uh, attributes value IFC space represents the room space, and we pick the minimum Z value um, as the head of one room where we adopt a point uh, layout since the multi point and the piece patch particu uh, particular IFC, uh, IFC object only has one geometry. Once you compile the geometry, you add a return a whole geometry or nothing, unless the geometry is broken up uh, into a single point. And um, 
in this uh, yeah um at last in this paper yes a relation um relation of 3d geo database solutions for the management analysis for of voxel model with multi multiple scaling offset were uh, present for different uh, kind of data layers for voxel data management in post GS and PostgreSQL circle are investigated in this paper. A case study shows that different data layers can be applied to different uh, situations to get better performance. Yeah, for instance, when retrieving a particular building or FC object in its entirety, it is better to consider multipoint and PC patch. Moreover, this two kind of uh, data layers bring other benefits as well, such as a small disk space and faster loading. On the country, um, yeah, the flattery and a point are more flexible like data layouts that allow a user to look for one or some voxels with uh, uh, special, with special semantic information compared with array point as a basic geometry can take for advantage of speech functions inherent in the postgres however since some um, only one vox object is recorded so, uh, per row these two representations can take up a lot of disk space in our test uh, the four Different data layouts take up uh, um, 1.6 GB uh, and 2.6 GB, uh, 16 K, uh, K, uh, KB and uh, and 16 KB of this space respectively. And there are several possible directions can be explored in the uh, for future works. First, how to decide the partitions for multipoint and PC pass schemas is a very interesting topic. For the time being, we divided the voxel objects with the same semantic wrapping to group. In fact, depends on different application scenarios we faced and the fre uh, frequent query object uh, options, we can consider different ways of partitions. Um, yeah, and uh, with the arrival of big data, um, yeah, works applications also require changeable data schemas, fast queries, response time, and more flexible capabilities than traditional uh, relational database. Um, yeah, to response to this new challenge, maybe the no circle database are now being adopted for geospatial data uh, management. We would like to design and implement 3D voxel management in this most popular uh, no circle database in the next step. Yeah, this is the reference and uh, yeah, any question?